Well, hello there. My name is HW, and thank you so much for watching Tone Junkie TV. I've been seeing a certain topic come up uh, in the forums, on Facebook groups, and every now and then I get this particular email, and I just want to address it real quick. It has to do with uh, profiles or samples not sounding the same as demo videos. And I want to, I, I have a lot of thoughts on this, um, but I want to show you a really great example of how drastic playing two different guitars on the same profile can be. Now, just the other day, uh, the Suze and I were shooting a demo video for um, some profiles we have coming up. It's their profiles of a top hat Club Royale. And um, I, we literally shot these two clips just moments apart. Uh, in the video, they're literally shot less than 90 seconds from the first clip to the second clip. And they play two very different guitars. Now, I want you to really listen to these clips because what's really interesting is these guitars have very different pickups. And I want you to hear the same player with the same pick, with the same touch, just the difference the pickups can make when you are playing someone else's rig when you're playing a profile that you buy from somebody and you don't make any adjustments, no adjustments have been made in this video. No audio adjustments were made between these two things. They're the exact same sound. Check it out. Okay, now to me, those tones sound very different. It's the same profile, no changes. Now, you might be thinking, well, HW, we all know that guitars change the sound of pickups, you know, big time, and that's true. But what really struck me about this clip is this. These guitars are very different um, in terms of their output, in terms of their body style, in terms of all sorts of things. But they're both very popular choices for praise and worship music, maybe for pop music. They're popular guitars. Now that gold, that I'm sorry, the Sparkle Jet you see there is a 1989 Sparkle Jet, all original with Filtertron pickups, Gretsch Filtertron pickups. Here's something to note about that. 1989 to when I'm making this video in 2019, 30 years. There is a measurable and noticeable difference in the strength of guitar, of the magnets used in guitar pickups over 30 years. Which is why by the time we got into the 90s, when people and guitar makers, pickup make winders started listening to old guitars, they were trying to make pickups that a lot of times had actually fallen in output over 30 years. The magnets had, had been degaussed uh, over time. So that guitar, I will tell you from playing it, has exceptionally low output. And you can hear considerably less drive on that guitar than on the Sparkle Jet than you see with the Sir Telecaster. Now that Telecaster style body is like a Sir T, but it has Thornbucker pickups. Here's why I thought these clips were really interesting. Uh, I sometimes get this, this complaint or I get this challenge from people who are honestly going, you know, I bought this, this sound or I bought this profile pack and it sounds different. Uh, in general, this is not the consensus I see. And so that's why I'm cons I, I want to bring this up with people because I think if we, there's a lot of variables involved when you play, the, the player is a variable, the pick is a variable, the Suze uses such a soft pick, I use a hard pick, I can hear the difference in our tones when he hits one note and I hit one note. You know what I mean? Like just very straightforward, hit a note, hit a note. I can hear a more pronounced attack in my playing. Those Thornbucker pickups are a little, 
They're brighter PAF pickups, but they're on the hotter side. And so that to me pushes the profile in a different way and you hear a lot more brightness. Now to me, I greatly preferred in this sound example, the Sparkle Jet to the Sur T. But I want you to imagine you're a customer there sitting for a minute and you just bought, you're a person, you know, you're a Tone Junkie customer or you downloaded a free pack or heck, you're just a guitar player who's sitting down, who bought an amp and it doesn't sound like the clips of someone else you heard playing it or you learned a song and it doesn't sound right. The difference in pickups is huge. Um, it, it, it's it, what I heard there, and I greatly preferred the Sparkle Jet. Was the Sparkle Jet has lower output pickups? It was juicier. It seemed more expressive. It seemed more musical, and had this really great overdrive. It has less overdrive because those pickups are so much uh, lower output. But the Sur T had. It had more gain and it had like a generic rock sound. I, I mean, if you showed me those two clips back to back and you didn't tell me that was the same sound, I might have guessed they were different tones on an amplifier, a different pedal. You can hear how even though they're both bright sounds, the brightness in the Sparkle Jet is really more a lack of mid-range and low output. They're more jangly, whereas the brightness in the Sur T, if you listen back to those clips again, you're gonna hear that brightness is more of a pushed brightness. There's a real amount of treble distortion happening and it gives it a more aggressive bright feel. Neither one of those sounds were dark, but they were very different. Now imagine yourself sitting there going, well, hey, I just heard a sound sample with that Sparkle Jet and those are supposed to be low output bright pickups and my Thornbuckers are supposed to be low to medium output PAF pickups, but also bright. They're supposed to be bright, bright, low and medium output pickups. Why don't they sound the same? Those terms, low output and, you know, bright-ish, you know, brighter than what? You know, brighter than a super dark sounding Gibson PAF. I guess what I'm trying to say is these things sound very different with the same player, the same pick, the same tone, just changing the guitar. Now imagine changing all of those variables. It's actually really difficult to sound just like someone else with the same, with the same uh, effects on with the same everything. And that goes into the whole tone is in the fingers thing. Now, what does that mean? Is tone really in the fingers? What they're saying is tone is in, part of the tone you hear is the coming together of the sound, the effects, but also the touch. Is it a soft pick, a hard pick? It, are, what's being played? Is it being played softly, sparsely? Is the person reaching down and hitting closer to the bridge to get a tinnier sound at one part? Or are they playing closer to the neck? Are they heavy handed uh, with, their, with their vibrato? We all, that our brain doesn't know how to separate all of those aspects of tone and it leaves it all together and it's just a sound we hear. I'm gonna be talking more about this on the channel because I think it's a super fascinating topic. But one more time, I'm gonna show you both those clips because they're very different. It's shocking to me how different they actually sound. I know that doesn't really help anybody solve their own problem, but I would say look at your guitar, look at your picks, look at um, all those things that could be different um, and, and, and uh, see if, if you can't make some adjustments on the Kemper, such as what if you took a compressor and actually lowered the amount of output if you're using higher output pickups? What if you took an EQ on the, on the Kemper and set that EQ to be pre a pre-EQ so that it can becomes before the amplifier section and you make some adjustments there to make your pickups more similar to a different kind of pickup that might have been used in a demo. Could you get closer that way to a tone you might be after? If you're not sure how to do that pre and post trick uh, with the EQ, check out the Tone Junkie video on that. Um, it's on the YouTube channel and I've done videos on that and I'm gonna revisit that, how to dial in, because I'm actually gonna take two guitars and now try to make them sound as close as I can together with the same player. We're gonna do this again, so stay tuned. HW, out. Here's those other two clips.